and the perfect timing to start this episode is by completing another expedition. Let's see what we find. No captain could ask for more. After weeks of trial, okay, that's the same text. And what we found, lionfish, orca, and jellyfish. So we have some sea animals now. So we have some sea animals and some wild animals, like a tiger and a bear. So I think it's time for a zoo rather soon. We can start with that soon. Um, in this episode, I want to focus on a bit of relocating, relocation of my buildings. So as you remember, Last time we stopped here and I told you that I w uh, was going to have some production buildings here and I did. So we have wood, timber, we have schnapps here and we have some red pepper here and also two coal mines and I've created charter routes to Sleepy Hollow for all of those goods so we can actually destroy I've actually destroyed those two pepper farms here now and we can also destroy, we can get rid of this wood production here. We don't need that anymore because I now uh, import wood from another island. So that is another way of saving some space that we need. And we definitely need some space because let's get also rid of those timber productions here. That frees up something. And we have some timber production up here as well. So let's just have another trade route, a charter route in this case, from New Hollow to Sleepy Hollow with, well, let's say another 30, let's say 40 tons of timber that we have here. That is one step. And I really want to get that canned food up. So that is why I built another uh, red pepper plantations. We need a lot of them. And... I do, so we can even we can even build some more if we like to, Jeez, but it's not mandatory. Ended. I think I mean we've built one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them, so eight should be sufficient for now. We didn't even have that many here; we only had five here, and that was enough already. So we have eight additional ones now. I'm not going to delete those here. Perhaps this one here to free up some more space, but that's it really. Now we have some free factories here. I want to move all of them kind of in this in this area here. You know, so that this this district here goes right into that. And we have some more houses here, so we can get rid of... Let's just get rid of all of the pepper farms. And let's just build one or two more. So you can see that I'm actually doing that. That it's not just suddenly appearing here, you know. So let's just have, like, another four. When I start, I don't want to stop. Lucky for us, they don't really need that much space. And I really like this new farm system where I can just kind of draw the field, like so. And I don't think that I will ever need that limestone here, so let's just have a pepper field here. Technically, this is not the best way to do it, but I did it now. Oh, actually, there would be space, so we have the quarry here and then another warehouse here. That would work. But looking good so far, so we can get rid of all of the red pepper plantations here, as we did. And the thing is, there are some oil fields here, and I need them, so we need to, to produce some oil soon. And not only do I want to, to free up some space here, but I also want to make it a bit more beautiful that, you know, those fields are fine, but I don't want to have any heavy industry here. So let's see. This would be a good spot for heavy industry or on this far side, but we've got some plantations here and I don't want to remove that. So we could have them here now, actually. Let's have the plantations here. I think that is a good spot for that, uh, the factories. So before I do that, what is that? Farm. That is a potato farm. Things. Let's get rid of that. Before I do that, I want to finish my city here in this direction Game for now. Save. I mean, I don't know if we ever go, you know, relocate those things here as well. That seems like a lot of work. We'll see about that. So we have a market house here and I want to have another market house here. Let's build some more houses here. Pretty 
sure we need one now here. And then we also need all the timber that we have. Looking good. We have some space here as well. Again, I'm just building them to see my city layout. So we're definitely going to remove some of those buildings again, like I did here with a park, for example, and with some special buildings. So that would be... Like so, and so we're running out of timber anyway. So we have now our city district up to this point. So we have some space left here that I want to use for the factories, for relocating them. And also another way here. Perfect. And now we can start um, dragging some of those factories. So for example the goulash. Let's take the goulash ones and move them here. Easy peasy. That is not a goulash factory. Wait a second. There is one. That is one. So we have them. Let's have another way here and another warehouse. And I don't know what I do with that one here now. That's a cannery. Put it up there. And another kitchen. Do we have another kitchen? A that looks expedition. like a cannery. Yeah, I think that's it. So we can get rid of this warehouse here. And we freed up some more space. There is another kitchen. Let's move that. Okay, so we got some kitchens here. I don't think that they really make the town uglier. You know, these are just buildings that you have in every city. So that it's just natural for them to be there. And let's just have a few additional so kitchens. Prepared. One and two. Because we produce more now. Can I interest you in this recently polished app? You know what's best. For that should be fine. So we've got a few of those kitchens. What is that? That is a an iron mine. Censorship is not always the cranny of the corrupt. Okay, so we have our kitchens now here, that should work. And now we have the canneries that we still need to relocate. Want to go places, do you? And we have the concrete factories as well. Let's have a look. Let's find a way. You lost uh, an influence bonus. Place for them. I think that's a good spot here for for the canneries. Let's remove some of those houses again. We've already got two warehouses here, so that's a good spot for that. Let's just take them again. Oh, that's a warehouse. They all look quite similar. At least from this distance here. Construction areas blocked. There's something here. Huh, <laughs> look at that. This building. And let's get also rid of those houses here. So we can build... We can place that cannery here. Perfect. And do we have one more? We have one more. That we can put here. And let's get rid of some of those potatoes. I don't need all of them. I don't need such a high efficiency anymore because I've got a lot of schnapps production on the other island. And then we can place like... I'd rather have two more of them. Oops. Like that. Okay, that should work for now. And the good thing about this is we can expand on that. So as soon as I get all my schnapps production to the other island, I can just move those factories to this place here and extend on that. That should work. And we even have a fire guard here, fire station. The risk of fire is pretty high, it seems. But yeah, that should work for now. And we've got a lot of space here now. There is still the concrete factory that I actually want to have here, far away. And now we can get rid of this one here. Let's have a look. 
I can move this one closer to that area still. Let's have the warehouse here. There's still a lumberjack hut. I don't know why we have one here. I think just for the wood. That we need the wood for something else. So let's move that concrete factory to this place here. Okay, so that should work. And so we have a lot more space here. Very nice. Here and also here we still have some space and we can still remove those schnapps factories if we don't want them to have there. And I also want to send one of my ships, the clipper, to the trade up here. And to speed the boy, whole thing up. I was chased through the palace by a disgruntled goose. Oh, he sells that ship. Yeah, I don't want to buy that I ship. Shan't sleep at all. We have enough. Okay, so that was quite a good thing, I'd say. My balance is right for some reason. I didn't build so many factories now. The royal taxes, are, I would really love to know what that is. Because it's growing steadily. I think that's a percentage of my income. How expensive is something like I that? It only costs canvas. 100, so this can't be the reason why my balance is so red all of a sudden. I have a feeling of... my and I still have all my goods. I don't know. So everything is up here. Everything is full, actually. So we can just increase... Across your city. Um, we can just upgrade a few houses. Your city has grown uglier. There is an epidemic here. But we have a hospital. Let's mobilize. And hope for the best. They can do that. Let's upgrade more houses. And let's have more artisans this time. That I want. But where? That's the question. Some more here. And here. And here as well. They also pay very nicely. And lots of taxes. So the goal is to have artisans island is up to siege. this area here and also here. So quite a lot. And then upgrade them slowly to engineers. But engineers are so expensive. This is going to take quite a while. My roots. New orders. Okay, and in this area we we could now extend our people if we want to, so we have more space here now. Like this looking good okay so the next goal now I think is to have more engineers because we have a lot of coffee that is what I remembered last time yeah we have, we're full on coffee we're already producing coffee and engineers don't even need that yet because there are not enough engineers so we have to get more of them I'm just waiting for more timber perhaps it was a bit premature Premature to buy more uh, to, to destroy my timbers here my lumberjack huts So we could just have a few of them here Nah, let's let's just Let's have a bigger lumberjack production here timber I remember though that we Opened one right? Timber? Nope. Same, same. So as far as I can see we have two timber charter, line, uh, charter routes from here, from New Hollow, but none from Nickelby. So let's do that. And all of the, the timber that we can find, because we don't really need it on, this, on Nickelby. Anyway, we are quite done here for now.
Oh yeah, this is still spreading the academic uh, ep epidemic Another here. Player has had their island seized. Okay, the illness is gone and we have stabilized some more products here. And the sewing machines were going down as well, so we had to kick in here. And what I want to do now is I want to reach enough engineers so we can finally um, consume coffee. Because that is like a dead product in my store at the moment. The thing is, if I upgrade everything here to engineers now, you know, I, I certainly wouldn't have enough resources to have engineers here at any point. Because consumption of all my goods is so high. I really don't know how to keep up with production at this point with only three islands. So for now, what I want to do is I'm going to upgrade a few more engineers here for the time being, but we can still gra uh, downgrade them again. So this is a pretty cool feature. If we don't like the buildings here, we can just downgrade them again. And I think we're going to do that later on then when we want to have more central. Or we could just upgrade now here right away. Because all of them want to upgrade anyway. So I think that's that's a good thing, yeah. You Around the park. A new milestone. So we have now a new city status, uh, capital. And that unlocked the bicycles. And uh, I think it's a steam... Steam motors. Steam motors and the bicycle. Factory, oh my. Another huge factory that we just cannot afford. Let's have some more houses here. More engineers. Yeah, that was okay. So we do have some engineers here now. And I think at this point now they want coffee, right? Yeah, they want coffee and we can immediately um, fulfill that good for them. Perfect. That is what I wanted to achieve. Awaiting new horizons. And we also have some more timber right on our ship that we can just put in there. And what I can see is we sell wood at the moment. I don't want to sell wood. Why would I want to do that? We need wood for the steam machines. Ah, uh, for the... Oh, I forgot the name of them now. The sewing machines. I'm confident it's ready to go. In journalism, one holds a mirror to life. Amplifies the voiceless. Pursues my... Publishing it's a different perspective. Okay, so we have that. We have more engineers here now. Of course. And you let's know also best. upgrade more buildings here to the next stage. To artisans. You're trying to scare us. I'm not doing anything on the other side of the river you though. It's the poorer district bonus. of of the both sides. So I want to have more artisans here though. And I lack the resources, as usual. Everything is so expensive. I'm using all my production, you know, deposits already, like iron and all my clay deposits, and I still can't keep up with what I need. It gets more tricky the more you advance. And we're only at stage four here. We are not even at investors. And we haven't even gotten electricity yet, so... Definitely feels way more complex than NO2205. Let's have some artisans here. Quite a lot of them. What else could I do? I want to upgrade more houses. We haven't done so many in the past. Still, have, still could have some more artisans here. Perfect. They just cost so much timber that I don't Ready have that, that amount, at least. There should be one of them. Yeah, he's getting timber. Okay. So we got two ships that uh, produce timber for us, or that, you know, import timber for us. But it's not enough. And I've also got a by order so as you can see we purchase now timber if we like to and when I can see that there is a good that it's that we really have in abundance like soap um, we could sell say sell to this to this amount here and I'm doing that with concrete and with that 
reinforced steel so that we can sell some of our things again. I'm doing that with coffee already. And we could also sell some sails. Lots of them actually. We don't build that many ships anymore. And I'm full of, of steel now. That is a good sign. That's a good thing. Right, we do have some timber again. It's good. So we can upgrade a few more houses. Very nice. That nets us some nice income as well. But we also have to keep our consumption in check, of course. So schnapps is going down for quite some time now. Even though it's just decreasing by minus one. Still shouldn't uh, decrease at all. We're taking every... So perhaps I'm not producing enough Still schnapps over so here. Okay, so this us. was um, the relocation of, of things here now. And we really have to get on with um, new stuff here. Because we, I think we are stagnant at the moment. So I'm just going to, to catch up on the production that we need to do. Because uh, I don't want to bore you with that. And then we can upgrade some more houses. And then we start with the oil and the trains in the next episode. So for now I'm going to just increase a few things here. Like so. So we've just increased now here a few houses here and there. And I think our city is now almost at its maximum. And I think it looks fantastic at the moment. Just imagine those buildings here then on this side here as well, on this side. And there's a big exhibition center here in the center. And there's a zoo over there. Or, well, over there perhaps because I have to relocate my bread production at some point anyway. So lots of things that we still have to do and we are only at stage 4 and not even not even halfway through that. So lots of things to do and the end game is, is going to be quite expensive it seems to me. Time consuming. Which is a good thing. So lots of lots of Anno that we still have to play. And what we can also do and we could close this episode. We could start looking for an island of our opponents. So we can't just have three islands forever. A so this one here, for example, let's how much cost does it cost? 70,000 for share. So we could start taking this island here, but I like her and she likes me. So there's no reason to be hostile towards her. I, am an earthbound I could do demigod. this one, but look at that island. That is, that is my very minimalism here. Very small island. There's almost nothing here. How much does a share cost? 78,000. It's quite expensive, everything. And this is his main island, his main city. He's even got some investors already. And how much does that cost? With investors on it. If we want... Uh, 800,000 for one share. So that is, well, out of reach. There's still one... There are not that many islands here. So I have to take one of those. So I don't like her that much. It's and it seems like this is the best bet that we have. It costs 82,000 per share. So we can afford that in the long term as well. And it's a bigger island that we could get here. You know, so I think we start with this. Let's start with buying our first share. I know what you're after. So and that's I that. We have a 10 minute cooldown now. And then we can start by uh, purchasing the next share if we want that. Alternatively, we could just take our fleet and probably destroy her. I don't know. But I don't like military that much. So we're just going to get really rich. That is my goal. And then we can just buy the shares of her. New that was the first purchase. And hopefully we'll be able to take this island at some point. Because we need the space for sure. 